to the first one, and he was diagnosed, diagnosed me, oncologist, and he was very stern, older guy, and I'm just smiling, and he's telling me, you know, you got stage three cancer, so you know, uh, we want to give you, um, uh, they went on these tests, they said he wanted to give me, you know, a hysterectomy, a complete hysterectomy. And then I started taking Karen's products because I used to be here a long time ago. So she I took classes. Products, started going through the routine. So after I didn't go back to him for about a month and a half. When I went back, I wanted to see what the CT scan said. My husband kept saying, we want to know what the results are. No, we want to do this. We want to go in. And we, when I said, would you please tell us the results? And he told us the results. He said, oh, 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 you, oh, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> And so we, me and my husband, I said, well, you don't have to do anything you want to do, you know, just do the test, the pap test, and we'll see what you have to do. But he was totally ignoring it. So yeah. my husband was like, my husband was getting afraid at first because he was like, oh, Denise, I don't want to lose you. Oh, Denise, we need to do something. I don't want to lose you. So Denise, just go and do it. I'm, I'm going to support you. And my whole spirit just went down. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no. So she brought him this to see me. This is my yeah. life. <laughs> I said, and I got to do what I know, what I've been taught. And Karen was all in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was all in my head. I said, I need for your support. I said, because you're going to kill me. You're going to kill me by not going this journey with me. So he said, okay, okay, I'll go. So then we went to, and after going through all the stuff we've been going through, then I went to the second doctor. But he uh, came here with her with me. Yes, he did. He, he came, came for an appointment with me. Uh -huh. So the second doctor, I went to the second doctor to get the test. I went to him. He's like, oh, we got to get the information from your other doctor. I was like, okay, I'll sign Paperwork. Then they act like they didn't get my paperwork. I'm waiting <laughs> on third week. Uh, you didn't get anything? Oh no. Then they call me late on that evening. Oh, we found it. Could you please come in the morning? So I go to see him. I'm all smiling, positive. Because I know how I feel. I know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you know, Denise, I have a lot of respect for Dr. So and so. And he's and he's he's giving me all his accolades and what he's about. And I'm like, okay, I understand that. I respect that too, but I need you to do the test. <laughs> no, Denise, um, you know, the pet test really do work, but I'm not going to do it for you. And I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to give it to you. And I'm like, why? He said, because, you know, I talked to Dr. So-and-so, and he wants you to get back here. He said for you to get back here. And then he said something very disturbing. He said, and I'm going to take some more stuff out. I'm like, okay, you're not for me. I had just only made my energy just, you know, uh, increase. So then I went to the third doctor. Going to the third doctor, um, he uh, went into his office and I asked him to do the tests. And he was really, he started, not knew this guy, because my, I had my got six kids, by the way, five pregnancies, six girls. And they all <laughs> grown now, got their family. And I'm like, he's like, Denise, I've been knowing you a long time now. Denise, you need to go back. He said, because you're overweight. And then he told me this disease is a black person's disease. He said, only <laughs> black women gets this. Wow. You're overweight. Now, I had lost a lot of weight. He didn't even ask me what I was doing and everything. He didn't even check me out. Mm -hmm. He said, it's a black woman's disease. White women just don't get it. He, he constantly repeated it to me. My husband's sitting there in the chair like, what? And he's like, and Denise, I, and look at you. You're all upset. But uh, he said, now, I'm going to check your blood pressure. My like, blood pressure don't shot up. <laughs> okay, we're going to put you on a pill. we got to put you back on the high blood pressure pill. Oh, and I'm like, God. I told my husband, no. Yeah. I had to go somewhere. I shed a little tears, but I came out saying, it's, I, I'm ready now. I'm going to continue what I'm doing. I know this is working. And I'm like, he didn't even check me. He, even, he gave me a, a blood test, but this blood test was only to say, uh, we want to see if your kidneys are messed up, you know, and I'm like, wow, I told my husband, this is a journey. And I say, but I'm going to stay positive with my faith. I said, because I know what's going on in my body. I know how great I feel. And I'm, I'm yes. raw. I love being raw. I got my energy. Mm -hmm. I love it. You know, and you know, I'm reading more, I'm, you know, doing things. I, I be with the grandkids and stuff like that. And then I'm also pushing back on some things okay that you know don't need to be in my life <laughs> my girls be seeing me no okay you need to leave bye <laughs> you know but uh i'm i'm loving it i know it's right i know what it's doing for me and i'm i'm positive because i see in the medical field they are they work like immunity yeah. you know and if you sign papers for them to get information they are conversing with them and the second doctor just kept mentioning that doctor's name he just kept saying, well, Dr. So-and-so, and Dr. So-and-so, and Dr. I said, I did not see him. I, I 
computers to do the testing. Yes. You know, so I'm still on this journey, and I have another doctor that I've been given, and I'm gonna go and check this one out because I know how my body feels and I know what's going on. Because everybody, even at church, they'd be like, "Oh wow, Denise, Denise, you look good." Yeah. And then the doctor, the doctor told me the second doctor, he said, "And you know what? You look good." <laughs> Well, that's what the black woman's disease will do for you, huh? <laughs> you know, and I'm like, uh, I know it's, it's working. They don't want me to continue. I said, whatever you're doing, you need to stop it because it's not going to work. Oh, you know, so I'll let you guys know. But I'm still on the journey. Um, I got my face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>